warm welcome to the WSL show, which this week comes from Liverpool. Well, the league is back after its summer break and it's ready for kickoff, as are we. Here's what's coming up. In the face of Sky's SPL coverage, Ali Douglas and Champagne Charlie Nicholas. Wow. <laughs> We've got uh, all the old firms coming up and a whole host of really exciting SPL games. And every time they do play, they have to make sure that they're at their well, level best. Absolutely. Don't they? Yeah. Same with us all. Yes. Same with you. Anna. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for part one. I'm under pressure now. <laughs> Join us again after the break. Welcome along to the WSL show where you're in the right place to get all the news, views and interviews around the Women's Super League. Here's what's coming up. In a moment, we will bring you all the action from Rafa Nadal's opening match in Indian Wells. But first, let's find out what the world number one's thoughts were on returning to the tour. He's been talking with Annabel Croft. Hello there, welcome along to your update. After last weekend's result, it's onwards and upwards, starting with tomorrow's trip to Goodison. Andy, thanks very much indeed. Well, over at this section of the lake, we're looking after uh, Team Scotland, Germany, Holland and France. So let's kick things off with peg number five there. I'll tell you who can tell us a little bit more about that is uh, Mike Shaft, who's just over there waiting for us. Oh, she's got a naughty smile. Good evening, I'm Ali Douglas. It's Champions League night and you're tuned in to Arsenal Live. Well, Barry Cowan joined me now to give us his expert view on that game. Pretty comprehensive, you would have to say, for Nadal, Barry. Is that the kind of match he would have wanted after his injury layoff? Well, this is just getting ridiculous, isn't it? I've got a Sean Durant with me. Do you know what strikes me every time I see these games is that the players are of such a different build in these mm. days than they are now with all the sports well, science. Yeah. Well, you were you were real athletes back then. <laughs> <laughs> you were asking me how the game looked from here, to be perfectly honest, it yeah. looked very close until the third quarter. Did it feel that way? Very good evening to you. You're watching Countdown to Kickoff, and as I'm sure you've heard by now, tomorrow's game at Blackpool has fallen victim to the weather. Right, well, here we are at Peg Five with Jimmy Masson of Scotland. Uh, Steve, let's get it out for the last weigh in of the afternoon and the last hour and a half. Well, nothing as we know, but uh, I think there's a, a carp and perhaps a skimmer in here. And all I can say is it sometimes hurts to be Scottish, but uh, let's see, valiant effort from Jamie Ann, of course, from David Corcoran over at the other side of the lake. But let's see, for one last weigh in, Bob, what this comes in at. Certainly are some nice ties. As we've said, no game at this stage is an easy game. They're all there, Dennis, on their own merit. They came second behind Chelsea in their group. Uh -huh. French champions, you can't underestimate anyone at this stage, can you? Not at all. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.